All right, in this video, I'm going over a graphical solution to a microeconomic model. This is the model I've been building upon, the grades model, or the, the model of how much time you spend studying, where your objective function includes grades and your opportunity cost for that time. Um, now, of course, when we graph this, we put our choice variable on the x-axis, and I'm going to, on this graph, put both the graph of our benefit and the graph of our cost on the same graph. And I talk about the shapes of these graphs in another video. We have diminishing marginal benefits, so this is our grades function. We have increasing marginal cost, so this is our opportunity cost function. So opportunity cost depends on time spent studying, grades depend on time spent studying. And our y-axis here, of course, is graphing both opportunity cost and grades on the same graph. Um, now, the first question you want to ask is, what is the optimal time spent studying? So we've talked before about how S star represents the optimal time spent studying. And S star is different than S. This S can kind of take on any value you want. As a matter of fact, the fact that we're graphing it, we're giving a whole bunch of different values to S, and we're putting them all on the same graph. So this model has not yet figured out which is the exact perfect one, but the solution to this model once we've optimized is going to give us the optimal time spent studying. So we wanna know what is S star? And I usually give my students um, a few different options. So let me give you those options and see if you can guess which is the optimal choice of time spent studying. All right, so I'm gonna let you guess. Is it option A? Is this the best? amount of time spent studying, or is it option B? Well, okay, um, let's think about this. So um, many students will choose B because from our first principles courses, we're used to when um, supply and demand curves cross, that's when we see our uh, solution to our classic uh, supply and demand curve models. So this kind of feels like it should be the right solution, but it's not. Um, why is that not the right solution? Well, what is our, it, what is the actual value of grades minus opportunity cost at this point? It's zero. Um, the difference between grades and opportunity cost is zero where these cross. This exactly equals that, that makes it zero. If we look at this point, however, or really any point in this range, we have higher grades than um, the value we're giving up for the time spent studying, so we're gonna have a positive value. And of course, a positive value for our objective function is gonna be better than zero. And as a matter of fact, we want to, ma we want to find the point where the distance between these two is highest. Um, so that's going to give us the optimal time spent studying when that bulge is the greatest. And, um, let, let's graph that on this graph below here. So I'm going to let pi equal the payoff function. So pi is basically what I use to represent the whole objective function. Total payoff. And that's just the difference between the two. And we know at this point, uh, it's going to be zero. At this point, it's also zero. So here are two different points on our graph. Um, now I can take any given point. Let me pick a few random points. Okay, so to, to find what is grades minus opportunity cost, that's going to be the difference between these two curves, which I can come down here and graph. And of course we know the S star, the optimal, is going to be where the distance between those is highest. And then after that it gets smaller. So if we graph these, what we're gonna find is that this function um, maxes out at S star, where, where this whole function represents our total payoff. Um, so this will be S star. Now there's another fun thing that happens here. First let me clean this up because it's gotten a little bit messy with all those lines I just drew. Okay, another fun thing about this is the fact that at our optimal choice, um, the tangent of our benefit the marginal benefit or marginal grade improvement from that extra 10 minutes of studying is exactly equal to the marginal cost um, of the time of the value of the time we're giving it up. So these two, and um, we've got marginal benefit. Marginal benefit is represented by the tangent of that line, and that's going to exactly equal marginal cost 
at the optimal. The calculus, when we eventually add calculus to this, is going to prove that. So this gives us our golden rule of economics, which is marginal cost equals marginal benefit, gives us the optimal choice. And so that's how you solve a model graphically. And of course, we're going to add stuff to this. We're going to add exogenous variables that are going to rotate some of these, and that's going to change the equilibrium. And that is how we will do our thought experiments when we analyze this problem. But this basic structure is going to appear over and over again as you go through the microeconomics course.